Hello Libra, this is Renee and welcome to my channel if you're new. This reading will be a general reading. This is a bonus reading. Let's take a look at your current energies Libra. We have a card that already popped out here. Tune into your inner peace. Now, Moon is, not the Moon, Mars is going direct on the 12th. So, this may be a time when you're feeling a little bit more relief. Um, I know when Mars was in retrograde, oh my goodness. Things were just going wrong left and right in my life. I can imagine um, that you were probably feeling the same effects. But yeah, I have things breaking down. Right after I fix one thing, it's time to fix another. It was just crazy. Setbacks, all kinds of stuff. Just things not working right. You know, things not going right that should have. So I feel like with Mars going in um, direct on the 12th, and it's going to stay direct until like 2020, 2024. So I feel like. Um, you're going to feel a sense of relief. It's also a good time to get active because when Mars is direct, I feel like you have like a, a breath of fresh air, you know. Um, it opens up new energy, new ambitions, you know, that sort of thing. Let's take a look at your current energies, Libra. But I feel like, yeah, with Mars going direct, you should feel revitalized in a way. Um, things will be going much more as planned. Okay, what do we have for Libra? Imagine and envision. Yeah, so we have tune into your inner peace and imagine and envision. Go with the flow. Okay, Libra. We're also going to take a look at these. <clears throat> How is Libra feeling at the moment? What's going on with Libra? Discovering, Yeah, you may be discovering new things. Like I said, this is a time when you are feeling a little bit more revitalized. You know, things are going a little bit better. Things kind of fall into place a little bit easier than it did before. So I feel like there's going to be some relief, Libra. Let's take a look at the tarot. What does the tarot have to say? What cards do we have for Libra? What cards do we have for Libra? Well, I'm still dropping cards. That's one thing. Okay, so Libra. We have the King of Wands. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Knight of Cups is your current energy. We have the Sun. Yeah, a lot more happy energy, Libra. We also have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, Libra. So, at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of pentacles so I feel like yeah you're able to balance things a little bit more I feel like you're setting new priorities you're setting your plans into motion is what I'm getting Libra um, and basically if you're open to love Libra this is a wonderful time for you to go through that discovery go through that new adventure because with the knight of cups in your current energy i feel like someone's 
making their move. Someone may be approaching you or someone may be asking you out. And this also could be someone who's offering you a gift of love. Um, for a few of you, it may be a proposal, you know, that's coming in for you. But I feel like it's, it's opening new passion. I feel like you you have like this spark. You're opening yourself to new ambitions. You're opening yourself to new discoveries, new adventures. And I feel like you are very ambitious on pursuing those ambitions that, that you're making plans on. And <clears throat> With this page of wands, I feel like you're going to receive good news. Good news is coming to you. It may be in the form of this love offer, but I feel like good news is coming. You may have received good news about some kind of move that you're trying to make or some kind of job that you're trying to um, apply for. But I feel like good news is coming, and I feel like it's making you very happy. It's opening you up to a lot more happiness and a lot more contentment. This is like the ultimate, the ultimate, you know, material happiness, joy, you know, overcoming so many obstacles that you've been through, and also success. With this page of pentacles, I feel like this could be a new job. This could be a promotion. This could be something that you've been waiting on that may have been delayed. But I feel like you've been waiting on this for a while. You've been hoping for this to come. You know? Um, okay, Spirit. We have the Two of Cups, the Four of Swords, we have the Tower, okay, and we have the Page of Swords. So we have three of the four pages so far, and okay, like I said, I feel like if it's new love that you're hoping for, new love is here, and I feel like it's, it's bringing... It's putting you into a more relaxed, more calm, more, you know, focusing on yourself and your needs. Um, because I do see that underneath this King of Cups, excuse me, this Knight of Cups, underneath this Knight of Cups is the Tower. So I feel like whatever this Knight of Cups is bringing is going to bring a lot of change. And this may, this is definitely change that you weren't expecting. This is something that you didn't have planned. But you do have a tower moment here. You do have something that is going to change whatever plans that you made. You know, it's funny, I get that saying. that take a look at your plans you know I feel like God laughs at the plans that we make because it may not be the plans that he has intended that's the reason why we go through these towers because it takes us on a totally different journey that we weren't expecting. And I feel like that's what this is. That's what this tower is. This tower is coming very unexpectedly. It may take you on a totally different journey than what you had planned. And I can't say if it's good or if it's bad, but it's gonna take you on a totally different journey. I feel like this is full of new discovery. You're learning so much about yourself, 
about where you want to go, what you want to do. Um, I feel like you're you're finally finding your purpose, Libra. Look how huge this sword is that she's carrying. And she's carrying it with ease. So I feel like these are your thoughts. These are your ambitions. This is what you're striving for. And I feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like you're carrying it with ease. Interesting. Let's see. What else do we have for Libra? The Six of Wands. So, you know, this Tower moment, I can't say that this Tower moment is bad at all. I feel like this is a redirection. This is, you know, something that was unstable in your life that needed to fail so that it could move you into something better because you have you have new love, Libra. You also have the Six of Wands, which I feel like people are looking at you with the Page of Swords. People are looking at you. They're talking about you, but I feel like it's very successful. They're recognizing you. You may be in social media. You may be expanding your horizons. You may be in a social network through work or something like that. But I feel like you're doing something to where people are really noticing. They're standing back and they're seeing how successful Libra is. You know, how, how much Libra has grown. You know, that's how I feel about, about that. I feel like you, you have grown so much. You have been through the dark times. Yeah, and you have the three, no, the page of cups. So now we have all four pages in this reading. All four pages. This is huge. This is a lot of new beginnings. This is definitely a new beginning in some kind of direction that you're going through. Um, but this is going to bring you a lot of good luck, a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of, you know, discovery. Um, and I feel like this is all something brand new to you. But I feel like it's very successful. You're going through a lot of change. You're finally taking notice. You have the Nine of Swords at the bottom. So I feel like this is something that you're letting go of. You're letting go of your fears. Of any doubts that you may have. You're letting go of them. And you're kind of pursuing this with a new fire. A new vibrance. You know, you're, you're high on the vibrations right now. I feel like you're keeping a positive attitude. You're, you're going into this with a brand new thinking um, about the situation. You're, you're hopeful. You're feeling more grounded. You're feeling like you're, you're going through these changes with ease. You know? I don't feel like it's going to be anything drastic. You have a lot of success here. You know, this is success. This is being recognized. This is a lot of good news. And with these pages, you have so much good news coming. Something's coming that's huge. This is good news, good communication, good changes. Um, a new beginning. This is a new beginning for you. Okay, Spirit, let's clarify these cards. Tell me about this King of Wands energy. Tell me about this King of Wands. The Hangman. Okay, so I feel like this King of Wands, if this is new love coming in, or if this is your love interest, I feel like this King of Wands has changed their perspective. I feel like they're thinking 
through things totally differently. You know, I feel like they're ready to be more understanding to your needs with this hangman. I feel like they, they're finally, they finally have this aha moment. So, okay, I know what Libra needs, and this is what I want to do. You know? What is this Page of Wands? The Six of Wands again. So, yeah, some kind of news is coming in, Libra. Some kind of news that's going to be very, very happy news for you. This is total recognition. You know, you have the Six of Wands twice. This is success. This is you being victorious in something that you're doing. And I feel like this news is going to make you so uplifted, so happy, so full of, you know, um, energy, ambition. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so with this Knight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like this person... This person who's making this love offer is feeling like you're a gem. You're a diamond that they've been looking for, you know. I feel like they see how independent you are they see how wise and they see you as having a lot of things they see you as having everything that they want in libra very interesting okay with the sun card we have the five of the four of pentacles so I feel like, you know, with the Sun card and the Four of Pentacles, the Sun card is the Sun card. That can't be turned into a negative at all, you know. But I feel like with this Four of Pentacles, I feel like this is going to create a long-lasting happiness. The Four of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles can be... You know, it can be greed. It can be your desire for something. It can also be long-term security. Or you really looking at your finances in a, in a different way. But it's balance. Balancing your, your pinnacles. You know, holding them close to you. You know, watching your pennies. But this is also a long-term security. So I feel like with the sun card and the four of pentacles this is happiness that's going to last this is not you know some place where you're just going to be happy for a day this is long lasting happiness something is putting you over the top with joy you know what is this page of pentacles we have the hierophants So yeah, with this page, I feel like you're learning. You're learning. You're studying on something. It could be that you're studying about manifestations or you're studying about uh, something that's going to boost your finances. You may, you may be actively in school. Um, but I feel like whatever this is, I feel like it's bringing you... good news of more money in your life you know I feel like you may be studying to get a new job you may be trying to take the bar exam or you may be trying to get your doctorate or you know something like that but I feel like this situation is going to put you over the top as far as your finances, this is going to take you into a brand new bracket, a brand new discovery, you know. This is new job, new money, new news on, on money. 
this may be investing that you're studying on or you may be studying to put money away for your retirement um, but I feel like it's it's good news coming what is this two of cups tell me about this two of cups spirit yeah we have the five of swords okay the two of cups and the five of swords with the two of cups and the five of swords I feel like this situation starts out with you kind of arguing kind of bickering with this person this person kind of sees you as someone who who's very challenging you may challenge this person with new things you may be a little snappy at this person you know it may be some sort of flirting or some sort of foreplay, you know, but I feel like you're really flirty and you're, you challenge this person who's coming into your life. You're just keeping them guessing. They kind of don't know what Libra is going to say next, you know, and I feel like it. I feel like it's very refreshing to this person. Because with the Three of Cups energy, well, with the Page of Cups energy, we see that this person is still interested. So I feel like this challenge is very accepted by this person. This person sees you as a mystery. And I feel like they, they want to be Sherlock Holmes. They want to figure this mystery out, you know. What is this Four of Swords? The Three of three of Wands. So, yeah. <clears throat> I feel like you're definitely focusing on yourself. You're putting a lot of energy into yourself. Um, you may be fixing yourself up. You know, changing up your, your hair, your dress. You may be even changing your location with this Three of Wands. But I feel like you're putting Libra first. This is you expanding. Um, I feel like you're taking time to grow. You may also be meditating or doing some kind of spiritual work. Um, but I feel like you're growing, Libra. You're looking towards the future and you're like expanding your horizons. What is this tower, Spirit? Tell me about this tower. The Ten of Cups. So yeah, these are that's what I was feeling. Okay, these are not changes that are going to leave you devastated. This tower is going to bring you into more happiness. More abundance. This change was needed. To put you into the right direction. This change is you growing with the things that you're doing. You're putting yourself. I feel like you may have went through this tower moment. You may have initiated it. Because I feel like it's bringing you a lot more happiness. It's bringing you a lot more, you know, abundance. This is... A really good reading actually you have the sun you have the ten of cups what is this page of swords tell me about this page of swords spirits <clears throat> the queen of swords yeah so you're whatever you're doing you're beginning something new but I feel like you're progressing you're progressing from the page into this queen um, you are figuring things out. You're, you're looking at your resources and you're like taking advantage of what's going to get you a little further. What's going to take you to the Six of Wands moment. You know, what's going to bring you success. I feel like you're using those resources and you're working very hard to obtain whatever it is that you're working for. But I feel like this, this Queen of Swords, she's... She's carrying all the burdens, but she's carrying it with ease. You know, she's she's not just looking at the burdens. She's figuring them out. You know, 
she's finding out how to move from one logical thought to the next. What is this Six of Wands spirit? Tell me more about this Six of Wands. The High Priestess. Yeah. Your success is coming because you're following the universe's lead. You're trusting that you're being led by spirit, by um, by good things. And I feel like it's because of the situation that you're putting yourself through. You are being very hopeful. You're growing. You're anticipating the better things in life. You're not dwelling on the bad. And I feel like it's putting you into this new situation that is you're able to follow your intuition more freely. And like I said with this with this um, Two of Cups, this Two of Cups thinks you as a challenge. The High Priestess, the High Priestess is secrets and mysteries. You're a mystery to so many people, Libra. They're trying to figure out, they're trying to figure out how is Libra doing this? How is Libra um, becoming this new person, this new successful, may even be entrepreneurial person, you know, they're trying to figure out what is this page of cups? What is this page of cups? The knight of swords. Yeah, so, you know, I feel like a lot of good news is coming to you. And I feel like this news is going to come very quickly, actually. And it's definitely going to be some kind of life-changing event. This night, they're, they're not standing by. They're taking action. They're like defending whatever they need to do. They, they're they like in the middle of the fight. And I feel like that may be where you are right now, um, Libra. I feel like you're in the middle of the fight. But it's not a physical fight. This is a fight with your thoughts, with your um, ambitions, with where you see yourself at. I feel like this is a, a challenge for you. And I feel like you're taking on that challenge very easily. You have the King of Pentacles at the bottom. So what you don't see is that you have support, that you are very practical. You're a wise leader. And I feel like you're... Your pinnacles are going to be growing expeditionally. You know, I may not be saying that correctly, but yeah, I feel like your um, your pinnacles are growing. Very interesting. Okay, and now I'm going to get a few cards for this love interest because I feel like this love interest is coming pretty strong, and I feel like they. This may become a little intense for you. So let's see. Who is this love interest that's coming into Libra's life? Tell me about this love interest. Who is this two of cups? What is this five? Um, what is this knight of cups energy? Tell me about this. Coffee cup. Meeting. Conversing. Savoring the moment. Feeling uplifted. Friendship. Yeah, so th this is someone who wants to ask you out on a date. And they also may be wanting to call you. Wanting to express certain feelings to you. This is someone expresses love, a message of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. So definitely, I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like this person wants to call you. This person wants to call you. They want to take you out. They want to express how they feel about you this may be someone that you're just meeting we also have cupid's arrow have faith love is calling surprise invitation or meeting hesitation and so i feel like this is taking you by complete surprise libra this person that's coming through they see you they see you very strongly very interesting.
Hmm. Very interesting, Libra. Let's get, let's see. Let's get a card. What advice do we have for Libra? What advice do we have for Libra? Give me some advice for Libra. Surrender. I can release my need to control. Yeah, release need to control over the situation and just go with the flow. We have, yeah, we had go with the flow at the bottom of the deck. That's where it was. Yeah, but we had go with the flow in the beginning. And I feel like surrendering your position and just letting the universe guide you, discovering the journey, kind of um, sitting back and just letting the discovery unfold, you know? What else does Libra need to know? What else does Libra need to know, Spirit? We have love, definitely love coming in. Commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Yeah, you definitely have love that's coming in. So I think it's going to be very interesting for you. And you also have change at the bottom. I, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So you have surrender. You have love. You have change. And we all seen that with the tarot as well. So I feel like, you know, this situation is going to put you into so much of a better place. Okay, Libra, if you'd like to ask a question, now is the time. Ask your question. If you need to, you can pause the video. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take a few cards for a question that you may have. And go ahead and ask that question now. Okay, Spirit. What answers do we have for Libra's questions? Give me a card for Libra. Communicate clearly. Okay, communicate your needs. Communicate your wants. Communicate positive energy around you. Be kind to yourself at all times. Speak positive words to yourself as well as to others, Libra. Reconsider. We're going to take one more card. And the answer is yes. Okay, Libra. So the answer to your question, communicate clearly, reconsider, and yes. That is what I have for you. Okay, Libra, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity in your situation. And until the next reading. Libra, many blessings, love and light.